everyone it's fiction crypto back at it again with another video and today we're going to be going over the new updates with ELS the Aesthetics marketplace um it's the NFT marketplace on the XRP ledger and they are really really setting a standard when it comes to NFT artwork um based out of Italy it is a really good project when it comes to having finer art you know more expensive art pieces and what they do is you know fractionalize this nft artwork so this is really revolutionary technology so let's get right into it and right here you see we're on the els versus xrp chart on the sologenic uh decentralized exchange and right now what we're going to do is just look over what's going on with the price um we've been in this kind of uh i would i would call a dorito chip movement it's just a large um <laughs> that's a funny name it's just a large um area of consolidation and what they do to me they kind of look like dorito chips if you see what i'm saying little triangles and everything like that so what we see on my chart is i have a fibonacci from the last high uh until the last low of the price and we have these zones now you hear me and mike always talk about these liquidity areas on the chart where money is present in these wicks. So this is a wick right here. And these is where, well, excuse me, this is where the market moves and takes orders at. So you always see these wicks come down and snatch up these little orders right here. But one thing I've seen significant right here with this wick and why I don't think it's coming below this price anymore is because we had this liquidity to this side. And what this wick did was boom it closes below all those wicks so it takes all of those orders a flash basically a flash crash boom and goes right back up to the zone where it needs to be trading to and it closes right there so you see we gain this huge momentum push right here through this level because it was tired of you know the downtrend it was done it already took its orders to the bottom side and now we're pushing up and as you see, that W pattern that we love to see when a, when you see a start of a bullish uh, trend right here, boom, we got the W looking nice. And guess what? It comes right on the top of this support, used to be resistance, support, and now it's trading stable. And you see my blue line, this is my blue box. This is another area of liquidity. This is the next trade I am looking forward to. You know, I was looking, getting some uh, ELS down here because we've seen that it, you know, stopped and reversed on our support and is now going towards our boxes. So what prices can we see uh, and can we expect? Definitely expect this price right here. Uh, I know this is like only a 5% gain, but that's really a good trade. Um, the next area of liquidity I see us passing is coming up to this 12.12 uh, price. It was 0.12 price. Then, and you know, I'm just following my FIB because my FIB levels give me every level I need. You know, then we're going to move up to the 13 price. And then after this 13 price, when we get right here, this is when it's going to start to get interesting because all the liquidity now is starting to go to the upside. You see these wicks. You know, we're going to blow through these levels right here. We're just going to blow through all of this. And if we see a new all-time high, we can expect to see 0.21 in the very near future. I give an all-time high for this. I give it another 70 days. You can mark this right here on fiction. It might be less than that because if we get the XLS 20D, it's going to be a wrap. So let's go to their page real quick. And they have some really, really nice updates. This is the Aesthetics artwork of... Uh, Twitter, they have 56.2 thousand followers. They're doing a lot of inter, uh, integration with Flare Network, uh, so the Songbird Network. They're bringing the cross-chain um, compatibility to blockchains when it comes to NFTs and digital fine art. So look at these new um, these new advertisements they put out. Let's let's go check right into it real quick. Turn my.
seeing things like this just gives me fired up uh, for the future. Um, it's really, really, really crazy to me to just be in this space. So I want to thank all my viewers. I want to thank all these companies. I want to thank everybody who gets to see this content. Um, I just love being in this space. And it makes me happy seeing this type of uh, this type of business being done. And knowing that I can hop on the internet and change lives by spreading information. So hopefully I can change you know, some of this YouTube content into NFTs. Um, you see, a study has tweeted out, find XRP. They are working to implement the XLS 20D. A XRP NFT uh, mass adoption could be done only using the native standard. So, you know, the community has been going back and forth about the XLS 14D standard. And this is what a study said. They're standing on the XLS 20D. It's no need to rush. Right here, this is another tweet, says, through the digital and licensed version, we aim to collaborate with public institutions, museums, and foundations, realizing the authorized digital overlay of artworks managed by them, letting them have the additions of stream of income. So they're gonna partner up with public institutions, museums, foundations, all these huge fine arts places. And, you know, they're gonna, bring their services to those platforms. So this is why we invest into the platforms. You know, it's a lot of meme coins, it's a lot of these coins, promise coins, this coin, that coin, but we like to invest in real utility, real world use case coins. And a lot of people say, what is real utility? Meme coins have real utility. They have a community. And a lot of these coins really have utility. It's just defined on what somebody perceives utility is. So this is what the type of utility I love to see. And right here, it says, a studies will enable the IOV. And IOV is internet of value. Those are keywords that we hear in the XRP community all the time. We know what RippleNet is, unlocking the value for the dormant, Nostro Grosso accounts. So XRP, you know, is going to unlock that value. RippleNet is going to unlock that value to keep this money flowing for everybody, these big institutions. Letting everyone move the fractional ownership of physical artwork kept in Mulan around the world using the XRP ledger. Amazing, amazing. And here's another video. Let's start. <laughs> Me hype, <laughs> this gives me hype. <laughs> so, yes, you see, Elysianers. I hope I'm saying this correctly. This is the other part of the AE ecosystem inside the Aesthetics ecosystem. So, you have the Elysian token, then you have the Athena token. And if you hold Elysian, you will be getting airdrop your Athena very, very soon. Uh, I think the airdrop is coming up in March. So, you know, it's time to load up. The price is cheap. I don't think we're going back below um, 0 0.5 cents. Hopefully we can. I'll grab some more. It says the XRPL Songbird binding tool is almost ready. It is going to be released in the next days. This right here. This right here. Cross bridge multi-chain technology unlocking the value from other blockchains and bringing it to the ledger and letting the ledger unlock the movement of money on these other blockchains. This is really great. I can't wait to see what happens. Um, when this comes out, I just know it's gonna be a lot of um, staking and APYs and all of this great stuff. DeFi is coming to you know the ledger. 
and I read that already. And let's go to their website, just check it out real quick. And studies enable the uh, IOV. I don't know why my images is not popping up right there. I've been having a uh, computer issue. It says a new ecosystem for democratizing the art industry. And we see collectors, investment purposes, a liquid market, the digital market. That's the new keyword and terminology in this space digital, digital physical and digital remember that and you'll be good in this uh crypto space artists global visit uh, visibility brand enhancement democratization um and become an uh, art and brand ambassador so you know they have all this great information let's see about um let's see what's on this page let's see what else is on here um I like the website. It really looks nice. It looks really good. Clean website. Oh, this is the homepage. Duh. Let's go to about. They got some really cool artwork and I like the user interface. When I was looking at this last night, I was just like, yeah, you know, um, being an art, you know, museum basically on a blockchain, which they are going to be an art museum. Um, you got to have a really good user interface. You got to make this stuff look believable. And, you know, they do a good job of making it look believable. Um, you see right here, a new ecosystem for democratizing the art industry. Um, they are going to be the first. This is the first um, NFT marketplace that was formed on the XRP ledger. So, you know, before Solo Agenda came out with their marketplace, these people were already working on one. That's why they have the bigger connections when it comes to the better art. You know, their focus was on art and, um, you know, Solo Agenda focus was on consumer product. And that was uh, not saying nothing wrong about that, but, you know, they have two different focuses. So you see how more visually pleasing a status is uh, compared to like Solo Genic, you know, um, Solo Genic, Marketplace is beautiful, though. I can't even market. Their marketplace is beautiful. So we'll get out of here with this last little video real quick. And I So that's really, really cool. You know, Aesthetics is partnering up with the Flare Network um, and trying to, you know, just bring some of this new DeFi tokens and uh, tactics to the XRP ledger. And that's why you see the, you know, the AE Songbird to XRP tool being made. Um, it's just a lot of really great things going on with the uh, Aesthetics team. And, you know, we just got to congratulate them. It's a waiting game right now with the XRP ledger. So, you know, we just need to wait, let them create and let these um, proposals be, you know, proposed and voted on. And, you know, this technology is going to get better as the time goes on. So if you are in, like listening to my voice or even in this space, you're in the right space. So it's Fiction Crypto, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.